Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Please raise your hand. Cells in the backpack, backpack on the floor, please. Everybody raise your hand. Let's do some magic, okay? Yesterday, didn't have the opportunity to share this with you, but they sent us, the, they sent us this email regarding bullying because yesterday, 24th, October was the day against bullying and other and united for kindness, acceptance and inclusion. Uh, what's bullying anyway? <laughs> Morning, thank you. I know a lot about bullying because I was the shy guy, the guy with the glasses, the guy that didn't talk much because he was shy and people thought that they could bully me, they can tell me anything and I didn't answer. I never answer, I just do things, do things, do things and now the bullies are stuck in a little village in a unknown place in the world that nobody cares about doing a dual work and i'm here in the usa having fun they think i'm having fun every day i'm going here going there going everywhere and i do wherever i want so i didn't have to do anything against bullies i just did my thing I stand up and said i didn't say anything I'm and e I didn't even answer to them because there's no use, okay? They are so dull with their unhappy lives, the only thing they have to do is to tell you, hey, you're a glass uh, boy, you don't deserve my attention, you are fat, you are whatever you are. You are paying attention to me. Why is your life so dull that you have to pay attention to me and tell me things? Thank you very much, I say. Thank you. Oh, you wear glasses. Thank you. Yeah, I have glasses. Thank you very much. I always answer like that. And they never take a toll on me. They never, never. Okay? So, and the other thing I thought about them is they... I pity them, because when you do that, it's because at home you are done that. You are told things at home. Your parents tell you things. So you think that's a, that you can do that to people. You can say, oh, you are glasses, you are fat, because their parents are doing that to them. What a parents, what a lovely parents that say those things to their children. Okay, so I pity them. So. Keep on trying to spoil my class, to spoil like a hoops. Keep on trying. Go on. Your life is unhappy. I don't care. I don't care. Keep on being unhappy. I don't care. You can't come up and do things and study or keep on being like that. I don't mind. I'm going to be happy anyway. Okay? So keep on trying. That's what I said to bullies, and I'm happy, I'm successful, and they're stuck in that village, lost, unhappy, and having a dull life. The thing I care most about is uh, two years ago in my hometown, I, I was working 80 kilometers from my hometown, Algeciras, there was a boy that was not a boy, it was a girl before. But he fought, yeah, a trans, yeah, a trans, yeah. He, sorry, she was a girl and he fought, he fought a lot, his mother fought a lot and he got, he got uh, his things took away and finally this year they took their teeth away. So now he is happy and we were working to help him. Because many people in the high school and at, at home, e everywhere, was bullying at him. They say, hey, you're a girl, you're a girl, you're... No, he's a boy, he's a boy, he's David. Okay, she was Isabel, now he's David, and you're going to call him David, okay? Hmm? Yeah, that's a big change. You have to be brave 
to do that kind of change. You have to be brave, and I admire that. Okay? And here there is people, there are people that is no happy with what they are. So they should be quiet and think about their lives and try to improve them. Okay? Morning. And now to show you how happy, how happy people with a problems, with that issues, with parents that treat them right. Is, I'm gonna put you a song, not this song, this song I'm gonna let it from the end of the course, not this one. Not this song, sorry, was a joke. Not this song. This song. Good morning. You can bully me all you want. Oh, baby, do the locomotion. What? Yeah. 